All of us were shocked by last night's news about David Ortiz, and our community has felt a palpable concern ever since. As befits his outsized personality, wishes for a speedy recovery have poured in from all over baseball, from the world of sports, and even from respected world leaders. He is loved throughout our nation and beyond, yet to us, he is our own adopted son. Won't you please join us as we offer a moment of reflection, thought, and prayer for a complete healing and a full recovery for our beloved Big Poppy. Thank you. Yeah, it's a different way to start MLB Whip Around tonight, that's for sure. We've got the Hall of Famer Frank Thomas, Mark Sweeney, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. And today, Ortiz was transported to Boston. That after suffering a gunshot wound in the Dominican Republic last night, Ortiz underwent a six-hour operation, and the Red Sox held a press conference earlier today. Be hard-pressed to think of anyone more beloved uh, than David, and you can imagine uh, how this has impacted the Red Sox organization. I know how it's impacted many of you uh, who are here who love David. Uh, and it's a very difficult day for the organization. Just uh, you're shaken, really, is what it comes down to when you hear this type of somebody who's not only he's iconic, but he's a friend. And uh, when you hear that, you just uh, you feel for him and his family. I always said that he, he he's bigger than life. You know, David, like that vibe, he he brought in on a daily basis to that, those teams and what he brings anytime I see him, you know, that smile. If here they said, you know, but back home, you know, they talk about superheroes without capes and he's a superhero without cape. That's the way we see him, you know, so he'll be okay. Yeah, and more reaction from around the Twitterverse today. Pedro Martinez, of course, his longtime teammate, uh, said a lot, and that picture kind of says it all about their relationship, and that wasn't all. These are just a few of the outpouring of support on social media. Tom Brady, of course, get well soon, my friend. And then how about Barack Obama uh, talking about Ortiz's spirit and resolve, getting through the Boston Marathon bombing, get well soon, Poppy. Red Sox special assistant Jason Veritek also spoke about his former teammate today. Great human being, not only being a great player, but, you know, played the game right you know, from his DNA, from being a twin, all, all that he brought when he was here. But oh, this is excuse me. Um, he's a dad. And, you know, heart goes out to Alex and, and D'Angelo and his wife and the rest of his family. I mean, it's very scary thing that, that you know, something like that can happen that easily. Yeah, look, this news uh, shook all of us pretty hard, certainly here where we've worked with him for the last two years and gotten to really know him, Frank, and, and you, you, you've known him for a lot longer than that. What's your thoughts on this whole it's situation? Been a, it's been a tough day today, you know. Um, known Poppy a long time now, competed against him a long time. First of all, I just want to wish him well, you know, praying for a full recovery for him. But like you said, we've got to know him the last two years, up close and personal. And it hasn't been a boring moment because it's big personality. So uh, we wish you well, wish your family well. And uh, we know you're going to come back strong, big fella. We miss you. Yeah, iconic personality, iconic player. Uh, it, it's, it's one of those things that humanizes it, but it does. It shifts all to his family in his recovery. We wish him the best. Yeah, we do. We miss you. We need you to get well, Big Poppy. We know you will, and uh, we're rooting for you back here. Uh, we hope you know that.